Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about control room and the glass that is the necessary evil. So first we have to decide what we're going to uh, use on the other side of the glass. If we're in the control room, then we know that, you know, maybe it's a live room on the other side, maybe it's voice on the other side. Well, we need to def uh, define that because the live room obviously is going to have a lot of pressure. So if we have a live room here and our control room here, then the glass here is going to have a lot of pressure if we got drums, you know, amplified sound reinforced equipment inside of here. So if it's just vocals, well, that's a little bit different story, a lot less pressure. So a little bit different design on the glass here. So first thing we have to use if we're dealing with a lot of pressure is multiple layers. So we, let me see here, we set our our cavity up, so to speak, with two pieces of glass. Okay, so we have all this pressure here from the live room, let's just say it's drums, striking our glass. So we, we like to use one inch thick glass, because we found that to be uh, the most rigid. So we use one inch thick on both sides, and then that gives us an air buffer between the two pieces of glass. And our, our glass units usually run around six inches, so your airspace inside is four with the two ones. It's all a sealed unit built in a frame. And then what we do for the inside of it, we line the inside of it with foam. So that controls all the residences inside this cavity because we, we do have air inside of it. So rigidity, the thickness of the glass, especially in a live room, if it's voice, you know, we can get away with a lot less thicker glass. We can use half inch here. So rigidity is our first requirement, multiple layers. Controlling the cabinet residences by lining the inside of the window cavity with uh, foam. And then here's something really interesting. We've done this before. What causes noise? The air moving inside the cabinet. So if you take the air out, put a vacuum hose here and you drain the air out with a vac, lower the amount of air in the cabinet, you have less residence as you create kind of a partial vacuum. So, and windows do this all the time, you know, uh, especially in cold and, and warm environments. So without air between them, you have uh, less movement of the molecules. So you have uh, less interaction with the two pieces of glass going on. So control room glass, you know, got to define what, what we're doing with it because live voice, they all have different pressure levels. Multiple layers, make sure you have the right rigidity for the glass. Control the internal cabinet residences because you're creating a cabinet. And then if you really want to get sophisticated, draw some of that air out of it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com, and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below, and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured, and I guarantee you your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.